Oh. Uh, all right, hey, so we're gonna look at some of these things that we did in class the other day. Um, so audio cut out, so we're gonna go over just some modifications real quick to the split squats that we went over. So uh, talking about loading patterns, it's really when the mic cut off, so be able to understand there's a couple different ways that we can load those split squats. We talked about a regular split squat, so both feet on the floor, knees in line, just so you can see that, right? Taking a knee, coming back up. If I were to hold a dumbbell in the opposite hand, that's a contralateral load. If I were to hold a dumbbell or a kettlebell, whatever, in the same hand, that's an ipsilateral load. If I were to hold one in both hands, it's a bilateral load. So that's kind of our loading patterns. But if we wanted to do same thing, we could do it with that rear foot elevated. We could do it with that rear foot elevated squat. Being able to elevate that back foot, coming down, come back up. The other way that we can modify these is changing the depth. So we get a little bit more knee flexion, a little bit more hip flexion by elevating that front foot. Same thing, foot staying flat. I'm lining that knee up with my front toe. I'm taking that back hip and I'm pointing it towards my front toe. Same thing, all the way down, all the way up being able to control that range of motion. If we wanna then take it up even more, then we can elevate both feet. And this is just another way to do it. Elevate both feet, move that a little closer. Be able to have that front foot. That way you get more hip extension on that back leg, more hip flexion on the front, more knee flexion on the front. Be able to come all the way up. You get a little extra depth, okay? So that's just the additions to that rear foot elevated split squat. That's a Bulgarian split squat, it's also what that's called. So if you ever see that as a Bulgarian split squat, it's the same thing. In addition to the front foot elevated split squat and the loading patterns, right? Contralateral, ipsilateral, bilateral.